Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shaw Craft One in my old barn door, and we are back with what I hope is our last video in the ring binder series. Hopefully, it won't take two more videos. Hopefully, we'll be finished in this in this video. So we're filling the pockets and finishing doing our decorating. So, and we've almost got to the last pocket. So um, I think maybe we have a couple more pockets. But let's see what we've got. Okay, on this one, I love this picture. And on the back side, it's kind of plain. So I am going to use, I think I might do like all three of the sticky notes on the back side. Just because I think they're so stinking cute. And that one's not wanting to stick real good. So we're going to cutesy it up and put us a little piece of washi on there. Let's just do it like that. And that way it holds it. And then we'll put our little pot. Uh-oh. Trying not to rip them there. It's pretty strong, the sticky part is. Pretty strong at the top. So we'll put him right here. We might have to have a piece of washi on him too, we'll see. And then one of the little cute little cups can go down at the bottom. Okay. There we go. Go find our. I love, love, love these child craft pages. I just love them. Okay, so we need something for this pocket. Let me put my washi back up out of the way. And let's pull over our little goodies. I do want to put one of these in the journal, so we'll go back and do that in just a second. Um. I may put this in here. I really didn't want to have to fold it, but I think it would do good to do like a little tri-fold with it. There. So we'll slide that one in there. What else do we have? This is just adorable. It's a bridge score card thing. So I think I want to use one of these in here. Oh, and I know what else I have. Let me see. In my little box of oh goodies over here, I have some of these big recipe cards. Let me see if I can find a cute recipe. Ew, chicken liver spaghetti. That does not sound good, does it? <laughs> Peach relishes. That would work. Okay, and he fits perfect. I love it. Okay. So let's go. I think we have all the pockets, but I just want to make sure because there may be one more pocket back here. Not positive. Oh, we're getting really full. Okay, we do have one more pocket. We added this one back here. And I think I want to put this in here. And. Let's do one of these really cool labels. We'll do a sarsaparilla label. Non-alcoholic sarsaparilla. Super cute. And then we'll do one of these. I like that. Cute. 
<clears throat> cute stuff, man. You're getting cute, cute, cute stuff in here. Okay, so now, now that we have all the pockets filled, I just want to start at the back and go forward just to see if there's any page that I see that I think might need a little something. This needs something. Let's put him on here. And I have another one of these cute, um, that one's sideways. This one's up and down. So I have another one of these really cute. And maybe we'll turn him this way. Okay, cute little paper clip. There. Okay, and then I'll put a scripture in here. Um, okay, I'm just looking for a scripture for my scripture cards. Hang on a second. Okay, I had to cut some more real quick because <laughs> I had used all of mine. So, I've got some cut and I printed them on a, a good paper for this type of journal. So I have this little basket here that I keep all my little scripture cards and stuff in. So I just like to add a little goodness into each journal. So we're going to go back through here. See, I love this fabric. I love it so much that I don't think that there needs to be anything on this pocket. So I'm just going to leave it. But I do think that I want to put one more of these recipe cards in here so um, I think I'm going to add this in to this little pocket and this is what I do I'll go back and add stuff that's usually why my journals are so cram packed full because I just like to stuff them to the gills and make sure that there is plenty of stuff for the recipient to play with okay let's see we need something here on the back of this page so, what do we have that's interesting? Let me see. Oh, I know. I am going to put this little boy in here for Eve to put. Not Eve. <laughs> Eve gave me this. But I am going to put it in here for... Well, let me just look through here and see what else we have. I just think he is so adorable. Is he not the cutest little boy ever? Oh, my goodness. So, we'll put him there. Let me just see if there's any other ones I think would go in here. Look how sweet. I love these so much. Oh, look at the little ducks. They're cute. This is going in a Western journal. I'm going to hold those out for a second. Because I, I might want to put those somewhere else in the journal. Because they're duck, little ducks. They look like, uh, you know, they could be farm animals, right? Okay. So, now the question is how we're going to attach him. And I think I might just clip him on. I think I might do it with a binder clip. I have some cute little binder clips in here. Maybe we'll do it with a blue binder clip. And that way, she can move him around anywhere she wants to in the journal and use him for decoration. Okay. So, we'll just clip him like that. We're going to go back through. I'm also trying to find a place to put this little pocket so cute so we don't have any big pockets back towards this area and I'm thinking that I would like this pocket here and I think I want to leave the perforated paper on it so I'm just going to see if I can punch it like this Okay. 
so super cute. I just love these little pockets. And there's a little surprise in this one. It is a really old, look how old that is. It's recipes. I don't know if there's a date on this paper anywhere. I don't think there is. But how cool is that? It was in the pocket. I bought these from Kristen, and she found them in the pocket. And so she left them when she, I don't know if I bought these or if she, I think she gifted me these. And then in this side, there is another portion of the paper with another recipe. Still no date or anything. Okay, well, it's got to be from 1988 because the article is reading about a flower show in 1988. So I'm thinking that's when it's from. But I just think it's super cool to leave these in here. So, and then she will have the ability to put whatever she wants in these pockets. I'm just trying to push the perforations down a little bit because they will go down once... You know, the book is closed for a while. They'll quit popping up like that. Okay, so I'm in love with that pocket. Let's see what else we have that needs a little something, something. I think this pocket needs a little something. So let's pick one of these. This one's cute. I like this. It kind of blends in, though. Let me see if I can find a small black one. I don't know that I have there's a small black one. That one would fit. I just need to trim it up a little bit. Now, y'all, I'm doing this with my scissors. So, Nan, if it's not perfectly straight, you'll know why. Because <laughs> I did it. Okay. So, yes, I like that in there. Let's get these over. We definitely have our book filled. <laughs> okay. So we need a scripture on here. And I want a cute one. We'll do this one. That's right. I needed to go back through. I'll go back through off camera and put scriptures in all the pockets. Once I'm finished, that page wants to catch. Okay, good so far. All right, you know, I think these little ducks would be super cute right here and use them to for a tuck for the envelope. So let's put them there. And I'm just gonna put a little bit glue little bit of glue. I can't talk tonight. I'm tired, guys. So we'll put a little glue there and poke him down and we'll leave him to dry. And then that'll be a cute little way to hold the envelope shut. Man, you're probably going to have to take some pages out, honey. But it's okay. You take out what you want to take out. And you can use them in something else. Nan makes beautiful journals, so. Well, we've left that one out of the hole here. Let's hook him back in without pinching our fingers. <laughs> Learned my lesson on that. Okay, we need a scripture here. Let me see. I love this scripture right here. And then... You guys, I think we're almost finished. I am loving, loving, loving how this book has turned out. Love it. Look at the cute little rabbit. Okay, we can push him back up, push him in there good now because that glue has dried.
Sparkle Page Pocket. These are so cool because, Nan, if you wanted to glue these together and just leave them open on the side, then you could poke pictures down in each, you know, in each side and have a picture peeping through the window. That'd be super cute. Okay. I'm really liking the way, I know I'm doing this flip through backwards, but it's not really a flip through. I'm trying to make sure I've got everything covered and put everything in here that I want in here. I love this little card too. Okay, got a scripture there. Okay, we need something on this, and I think perfect. How stinking cute! I want this rooster right here. Okay. And that way, it'll hold that envelope shut. I love the little dangle on there. Okay, I think... I think we're good. So we just need to do something on the front cover and the back cover. And we will be finished with our journal. We're at 17 minutes, so we should be good. Because I know on one or the other, let me find it. Oh goodness, please don't let me have lost it. I mean, it's not lost, it's just in this pile somewhere. Oh, good. Here we go. So, remember the little recipe that was handwritten? I wonder if we should put it in the front or in the back. I kind of like it better on the back cover because I think on the front cover I want to do like a library pocket. So, I think we will take some washi and washi this into the back cover. Let's see if we can find some cute washi. Oh, you know what? I have some really cute washi in here somewhere. It has little apples on it. Let me see if I can find that. Okay, I found the apple washi. So how perfect is that for this little journal? So we're not gonna tape it all the way across because it was originally taped all the way across and I think it's cute to not have it taped all the way across and then there's a little piece of the tape left here so you'll be able to see the original tape that it was taped down into the book with it's kind of kind of funny okay so now we just need to go do the front cover and I think what I'll do is um, I just do a like a final flip through um, once we're once I'm once it's finished. I'll just do that in a separate video so that everybody can see the final product. Now see, we have alligator mouth now. See how see how much alligator mouth we have, but that's okay because like I say, she can take out what she wants to take out, use it somewhere else, or distribute it a little more evenly throughout the book. Or however she wants to do it. Alright, so let's get started on the front cover. Okay, so I think I want to make like a library type card. Not card, pocket. Library pocket out of this. So we're just going to cut it down. Like this. It's going to be bigger than a library pocket, but... It's the same concept. So we'll cut it 
I'm trying to think of what I want the front of it to be. That's cute, but it's just not wide enough, is it? Because what I want is I want this card to be able to, well, it would be able to. I don't know, it'd be a tight squeeze. That's so cute though, that paper is. I might put this in there for her to. I always like to like make a little pack of goodies to send with the journals. Um, so that the recipient has some stuff to play with. So, let's see. I think I'll put that there. I almost think I want some red here. Not bingo. To be gingham up against that. I don't want the. Do I want the red chevron? Maybe. I kind of like that. Okay. So we'll just mark it off and cut it. ghost is pecking around in my living room somewhere. Okay. I like that. And I think I'm just going to glue it. And I'm going to use the art glitter glue because it's really, really strong glue and it will hold this pocket really well together. <clears throat> okay. Oh, I'm going to have to order some more art glitter glue. That is for sure. I want to get this as close to the edge as possible because I want my card to fit in it. And this stuff dries very quick, so you got to get it down there pretty fast. And I don't mind that it's a wee bit bigger than the actual background. And then I want to, okay, and then we're going to go ahead and use this art glitter glue. And I'm going to adhere it down on three sides because I want to be able to make it a little double pocket behind there. I'm going to have to clean my tip out of my art glitter glue. Okay. So we want him. Now I'm going to put a little strip of something here. Because remember we have that gap where we had to piece that together. So I want to push this out far enough to where we can do that. So I think right here is a good spot. <clears throat> Okay, and while we let that dry, I'm going to trim the top off of this. Just the very top had still had a little, little black bit from the piece we cut it off from. And let's ink the edges of this. And then I want to take it and just kind of run my ink over it very lightly just so it's not so white or cream it's actually cream so we can put this here as kind of like a top title so to speak okay 
Okay. We're lining up right there. And then Sarah sent me this little kit of stuff, and I was gonna see if this white lace. Oh. <clears throat> You know what? I was looking at that white lace, but this might be super cute right here. What do y'all think? I think that would be really cute right there. I think that's what we're going to use instead of the white lace. Yep. Thank you, Sarah. I love it. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to just snip him off right here. And we'll keep that piece for a snippet or something. And then I have my Fabri-Tac. Sorry I'm not talking much this evening. I am super tired. I have been working on this all day long for a couple of days now. So it is Friday evening and my honey is working late and I'm ready to go crawl under my heated blanket and watch a show or something. Just maybe... Just relax, you know, it's time to wind down and relax, so. Okay, so this is our library pocket, and then where's my little card I was going to put in here? So we're going to put this one. I like this one because it says, Happy happy Thoughts Seeds. <clears throat> so, Seeds of Happiness, add sunshine and sprinkled, sprinkles, guaranteed to produce smiles. So, I think that is adorable. So we are going to put him in the pocket after we ink him. Okay. So he's going to slide in there. I'm going to find something else to put in there with a little bit of color. Maybe a vintage card. Now, she's super cute. Isn't that adorable? I think we'll put her in there. I like that. And I don't know that I'm going to put anything on this pocket. I know what I'm going to put on this pocket. Excuse my reach. I'm going to put my label on the pocket. Yep, I think that's what we're going to do. So, um, hang on a second. I'm going to go sew around my label. One second. Okay. So, we're going to put him down here. And we'll make him a pocket, too. I always like to try to make my label useful. If it's going to be in the book, and it's going to be in, in any book that I make, so I always try to make it to where it can be a pocket. And a cute pocket. So we'll put him right here, and then we'll find one of these cute little tags to put in it. Maybe a couple of them. We'll do a cream colored one and maybe a black one. Although I like this one. That one's cute, but I don't want him to cover up her face. Maybe if we go this way. Yeah. That works. Oh, no, I just really kind of like this one. Yeah, I like that one better. 
Okay, and then we've got the pocket underneath here. So, let's find one of these cute little recipe cards. We're almost, we've almost used all of them. Awesome. Okay, I don't want to round the edges because it will cut off part of my word. So, we're just going to ink around the edges. Where are we at on our time? Oh, we're at 30 minutes. We've got to hurry, Diane. Okay. And he will slide right in here. And I think I'm going to put a tab over here so it'll be easier to get him in and out. Let me just find something. Yep. I don't want it to be a huge tab because I don't want it to stick out of the, the journal. So we'll just put it right here and we're going to staple it so she can take it off if she wants to. If she wants to actually use the card for a recipe, she can just take the staples out and take that off. And then we're just going to slide him right in there like that. And I'm going to leave it sticking out just a little bit so she knows it's in there. So we are D-U-N done. Good deal. So, um, I will come back and do a final flip through of the journal. I'll just do like a, you know, the, like the normal flip throughs that I normally do. So I'll come back and do that. And we are finished, uh, with our ring binder. I don't know. Um, I almost don't know if I want to put something on the spine. I kind of, I like the simplicity of it. So Nan, I'm going to leave that up to you. You tell me, do you want something on the spine or do you want me to leave it like it is? I don't mind putting something on the spine at all. It is not a problem. I just don't know. Anyway, you just tell me. You tell me if you want something on the spine and I'll make it beautiful. More beautiful than it already is. So that is our journal. And um, I hope you enjoyed this series and I hope that I helped you in some way. I hope that I did not bore you silly. <laughs> so if you like the video, hit like and subscribe. Don't forget to push the bell for notifications of new videos. Leave any comments or questions that you have below. And thanks for watching, you guys. Big hugs.